When I stand on any start line, I don't actually know if I'll get to the finish, but that's a big part of the reason why I find myself there in the first place. Soccer, rugby, cricket, they're all sports that we already know are things that human beings are capable of doing. When you get into some of these extreme endurance sports, a lot of it's uncharted territory. And so when I'm in that situation where, where things are truly testing me, I think here's an opportunity to potentially do something that we didn't think human beings could do before. I think I got into extreme endurance sport because I had a curiosity about the world and I wanted to explore my limitations as a person and as an athlete. You know, success to me is about being a good role model to my athletes and to my family. And, and I think being a good role model is about performing to the best of your own abilities and always, I guess, keeping the real essence of why I do it uh, foremost in, in my thoughts and actions. And the, the big reasons I do the sport now have less to do with results and more to do with uh, the growth and the learnings that come through exploring my limitations as an athlete. The core of what I do is kayaking, biking in all its forms, off-road, on-road, running and swimming in the case of Ironman. So those four sports probably form the basis to every event that I do. On top of that though, you do need to be pretty capable uh, in a raft on, on bigger white water. You need to be able to navigate in uh, natural landscapes by map and compass. Uh, you need to be handy with ropes. There's a lot of abseiling and, and climbing and caving and that sort of thing. And then you get all the random stuff like uh, rollerblading, which I was never any good at. Um, and yeah, there's just some crazy sports that you find yourself doing potentially that you've never done before. So you're sort of trying to fake it till you make it. The biggest failure to me is when I lose sight of the things that I'm uh, in control of. So that might be the way I pace myself, the way I manage my nutrition, uh, my mindset at various stages in a training or a, in a race environment, and start to become distracted by the things I can't control. And often those things are other competitors, what they're doing, how they're uh, executing their own race day performance, um, even the weather. I can control clothing choice, but I certainly can't control the weather, so that's one that I do tend to repeat, is taking my eye off what I have control over and letting my mind drift towards those uncontrollable uh, aspects. I think when I finish with the sport, I'll always remember the people that made the sport special, and the places I went, I've, I've run across the empty quarter, which is a desert near Abu Dhabi, and mountain bike through the Rocky Mountains in Canada, and run through little mountain villages in China, and they're just these places that will forever leave an imprint, I guess, on my heart. The, the things that I've seen, the people I've met, and at the end of the day, that's the thing I treasure most, I guess, about my time in the sport.